Yo, what's good YouTube? Zamco here, aka Scoop, back with some new draft league content. We're gonna be joining the Nina Mori Nation Draft League, um, the NNDL, founded by my good buddy A1 Gallade and his friend Rosalina VGC. Proud members of the Nina Mori Nation, as am I, so it's only fitting that I was soon to join this league anyway. Um, as you can see, we're in season two. And I actually did, I missed the draft, <laughs> um, but it was because I wasn't an initial coach in the draft to begin with. See, uh, they had they had a full roster, they started the draft, and a guy couldn't finish. Um, so they was recruiting, they were advertising recruitments, and I, I was looking for a new league anyway, with the IDM coming to an end. and. The PBF coming into playoffs. The CPC is close to. We're in. We're going to be in. My, I haven't uploaded week six or seven yet, but I have played both of them. So I've only got weeks eight, nine, and ten left. So that's coming to an end as well. So I needed some more draft league content, and we've got it here within the uh, NNDL. That being said, um, I had to come in. Oh, well, I didn't have to, but I came in after the draft, like I mentioned uh, just a few minutes ago, and I was left with what the previous coach had drafted already and whatever was left out of the uh, free agency so i was able to take you know the free agency and the half roster i had and uh, create something out of it and i felt my team uh, my team's pretty cool i like my team a lot um we were um i guess i can talk about the rules a little bit we were afforded 1,300 points to draft mons that were ranked between A plus, A, A minus, B plus, and so on and so forth. I think the exact tiers were, uh, there were S tiers were Celestella, Kieran Black, and Manaphy resided, and then A plus, A, A minus, B plus, B, B minus, C plus, C, C minus, D plus, D, D minus, and then the unranked 30 point value mons. Um, so all these mods were separated by basically a 10 point value with 200 being for S tiers, um, 190 for A plus and so on and so forth until you get down to the really low tiers. And then uh, then there's a little jump from like 100 to 80, 80 to 60, 120 to 100 and so on and so forth. But uh, we're afforded to draft nine to 12 mods and I don't think a mega evolution was mandatory. Um, and then at the end of the draft we were given 300 Z points So whatever a mod costed in its initial value is how many points it costed to make it a Z move mod as well um, um, Okay, the items for items uh, all gems and the custat berries are allowed um, I don't know if any other berries may be banned, but For baton pass we have a baton pass rule where we can use baton pass to gain momentum dry pass no stat passing and I doubt we can pass substitutes, but I'm not sure on that. I'll have to ask. And then we got the gambler clause. Shout out to Fub, the Fub. Anyone who knows the Fub from early MLP and PBF stuff. And then, you, well, I don't think he played in the PBF, but he was a he was a face on me verse. So no luck based items such as uh, bright powder, Oko moves, quick claw, focus band, etc. Um, the slave clause, obviously, and then there's you know banning Ubers outside of Blaziken and Landers Incarnate, which are allowed, but speed boost and sheer force are banned respectively. And then Magirna, sheer force Landers, and I, Psychic Terrain, Top of Lele, Protein Grin, Battle Bond Grin, Hoopa Unbound, and Arena Trap and Shadow Tag are banned. Um, and then we're allowed up to three trades to use up to week five, and then no longer can trade after that. And then all the battles are going to be done on Pokemon Showdown. Replays are sent in, and then you know we have to you know keep keep uh, keep up with our own stats and our record and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And we're we're told not to you know forfeit prematurely, and you know keep our battles on time and stuff like that. Outside of that, we have some uh, we have some pretty cool. Uh, Competition, new competition, some competition I haven't faced as often as I've faced some other, you know, players that, you know, I face quite a bit, you know, in the draft league community, playing in the CPC and the, and the UPC and the UBC and the ICBA. There's a lot of, you know, recurring coaches in this one. I don't think there's one recurring coach out of any of those. But, yeah, that's going to be it. We're going to hop into the draft and we'll be right back.
Well, with my first pick, I grabbed Mega Venusaur, this monster. <laughs> this monster. So Mega Venusaur, it's, uh, it's quite a bulky mon. And it has two of its weaknesses eliminated by an ability called Thick Fat, which is just amazing, simply, simply amazing. It has base 180 HP, base 123 defense, and base 120 special defense with um, base 122 special attack and base 80 in HP and speed. So really, really, really solid mon all around. It's not slow. It's not fast, but it's not slow. Um, it's very, very bulky and has offensive uh, presence. So phenomenal mon in my opinion. It can throw off a lead seed, can throw off a, a sleep powder, stun powder, or what is it? Stun, stun, stun spore, maybe? I'm not sure. It gets synthesis, so it gets you know reliable recovery. It gets swords dance. You know it has great coverage with knockoff, um, seed bomb, sludge bomb, uh, giga drain, hidden power of choice, leaf storm, um, and then you know the the grass type moves that the starters get and stuff like that. Really solid mon overall in my opinion, and I think it's going to be a solid a solid mon to use. I haven't actually used this in draft league format. Um, but I've seen it used really well by a lot of my friends. Sebi VGC, Aki VGC, both have used it very, very well. I think uh, some other of my friends have used it pretty, pretty solidly as well. And I'm really excited to give it a try. Um, it, it's been a nuisance to face off against when I don't have Mary Alkazam. So I'm re really excited to give it a try. So a nice mon that absorbs toxic spikes. Now, this is my bulky grass type. And uh, it doesn't necessarily do what most bulky grass types do um and that means and by that i mean it doesn't switch into ground type moves um as comfortably as some other grass types could um it still switches into water types and with thick fat doesn't mind uh, ice types or fire types so that's pretty cool like i mentioned gets earthquake and some really good coverage with leech seed and toxic and stuff like that could be really annoying for teams to uh, face off against and with leech seed and synthesis even in you know weather conditions i have pretty solid recovery um considering you know lead seed and synthesis both and uh that's just gonna be about it for mega man where i'm really excited to use this mod i figured i could go with a uh, fire water grass core and a uh fairy dragon steel core to kind of uh kind of you know have both of those really really solid cores whilst also having some you know really really solid offensive presence and i'm only going to be drafting 10 mons i'm going to be using my points in a way that uh, i'm only going to be able to draft 10 mons so i wanted to make each mon count for you know basically the most i could get out of it so got my nice grass type here and it's going to be mega venusaur so yeah now we can move on to our second pick and we'll be right back so with our second pick, we decided to pick up Latios. Now what Latios does is it gives us a Dragon type while also giving us... Uh, so Venusaur is weak to Psychic types. Mega Lot well not Mega, but Latios uh, resists Psychic and is a Dragon type. So nice, uh, nice Dragon type, you know, Dragon Spam is always nice versus every team. You know, once you get those Steel types and those Fairy types out of the game, Dragon Spam is so solid. And like I mentioned, it gives me a solid Psychic resist. And like I mentioned about Mega Venusaur not necessarily being able to resist ground types, this gives me an immunity to ground types with my ability Levitate. This is my Z-Move user, cost me 170 points to uh, get this mon, and then another 170 points of my Z-Points to uh, make this a Z-Move user. Totally worth it though, I'm really excited to give this monster a try. Um, I don't necessarily have to run a Z-Move every week, you know, choice specs, choice scarf. <laughs> Life Orb, um, Draco Plate, Psychic Plate, whatever it may be, uh, Twisted Spoons, um, all kinds of viable sets, Calm Mind, Dragon Dance, Roost, Recover, Refresh, um, gets great coverage, you know, Draco Meteor, Dragon Claw, Dragon Pulse, Energy Ball, Grass Knot, um, Psychic and Psy Shock, and like I mentioned, Calm Mind, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, uh, Thunderbolt, Thunder Wave, Trick, you get a nice trick, and Surf. So that's pretty nice. And then Zen Headbutt and Dragon Claw for the physically offensive sets with Earthquake, you know, Aerial Ace and things like that. And um, it gets some cool text. We won't, won't, won't give everything else away, but, you know, it does get some things like Psycho Shift and Psych Up and uh, Whirlpool and some, some other cool text that, you know, maybe you wouldn't see on the ladder or some for, from some average draft league players. 
but yeah, really excited to you know try this thing out. And like I mentioned, it is a Z Move user, so I could bring a Z Move, uh, a Z Crystal. I mean, and those can't be knocked off, so that reduces the not you know damage I'll be taking from knockoff. So that's pretty nice. Um, basically negating you know a, a knockoff weakness, and then Mega Venusaur basically takes nothing from knockoff. So so far, pretty strong against knockoff coverage and stuff like that, despite having a Psychic type. And then uh, devastating Drakes. Um, Shattered Psyche, all, all kinds of other Z moves. Like I mentioned, this thing has insane coverage, so insane uh, Z moves. Um, I do have the ability to run Z status moves, so that's pretty dope. Like Z Psych Up, uh, Z Sunny Day, or something like that could be dope. And then, uh, and then, you know, Latios could be a huge threat with like a Dragon Dance or a Calm Mind Up with a uh, with a Z move especially if you run the right coverage and you know you get all those right too so that's that's something to keep in mind and i felt like this was a two mons that i really wanted to use i used latios once in a speed tour i didn't get to you know test it out week in and week out but i used it once in a speed tour and it's really fun so i'm excited to use it again and then uh <laughs> for our third pick we're gonna be moving on to our third pick which is a friendly and familiar face and we'll get right onto that with our number three pick we grabbed manaphy this mon was uh was the first mon that was on our original draft that we inherited but we were able to make some swaps and stuff and i looked at quite a bit of water types and i decided that you know as much as i didn't want to use manaphy again i really didn't want anyone else to have it <laughs> so i just grabbed it anyway and you know it's it's something that i wouldn't you know i would definitely consider trading for something else but at the same time like i mentioned nothing else in the free agency was worth nearly what Manaphy's worth so I, I'm definitely okay with this pick despite being you know having used it quite a bit you know over my career as a draft league player nonetheless though I don't really need to say much about Manaphy I'll say a few things like Calm Mind, Tail Glow, Scald, Surf, Knock Off, um, U-Turn, Heal Bell, Skill Swap, um, Reflect, and Light Screen so that's that's just a few things I can name off the top of my head. Rain Dance. This is not a Z move user. I decided that you know Manaphy is a little bit overused in terms of Z moves, especially in draft league format. So I decided to give my Z move user to uh, Latios, as you saw in my previous pick. But yeah, not too much to say about Manaphy. Base 100 stats across the board. That's something I didn't mention about Latios. You know, it's got you know base 110 speed, so really solid speed st uh, speed stat. Uh, base 130 special attack which is insane and you know completely outclasses you know, these base 100 mons in my opinion uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah nonetheless Manaphy 100 base stats across the board um, with a solid singular typing in water and very solid you know number three pick in my opinion but that's going to be it for Manaphy there, like I mentioned there's not much to say you've probably seen me use it before if you've seen any of my draft league content so yeah that being picked or that being said we can move on to our next pick which is going to be number four and we'll be right back so with our fourth pick we decided to grab cabalion this gives us a steel type and a fighting type as well as giving us a mon that can set up stealth rocks pretty reliably since it has base 108 speed it can more than likely set up stealth rocks and actually prevent stealth rocks from other rockers um, such as like a paladon or Excadrill or something like that or Landers Therian or something like that. We can taunt them, prevent rocks. We do have, you know, set up options in Calm Mind and Swords Dance. Like I mentioned, a, a solid speed tier at base 108. Have a nice defensive uh, stat at base 129 and uh, factoring in that base 90 HP or base 91 actually. It's a pretty solid defensive mon as well in terms of uh, being a steel type. And then base 90 in attack and special attack with base 72 special defense, which isn't too great, but it can be made up for and stuff like that. So it does get justified ability. So another mon not weak to knock off and actually actually gets a, a boost from knock off, which is pretty nice. This mon can, uh, you know, bolt switch out. It gets nice stab in close combat and iron head. Gets nice stab in close combat, flash cannon, iron head, focus blast, gets nice coverage in uh, poison jab and home claws and stone edge, rock polish, sacred sword, all kinds of cool coverage. Um, and like I mentioned, it gets 
uh, taunt, it gets Thunder Wave, nice utility there. Oh, I, it don't get knockoff, I wish it did, but it doesn't. It does get Magnet Rise, so that's, you know, some, you know, some nice tech, I guess, for some fat ground types. And, uh, like I mentioned, a Stealth Rocker, and that's, first and foremost, it is a Stealth Rocker, the first one on the squad, and uh, that usually, you know, you should usually have a Stealth Rocker before your fourth pick, in my opinion. But yeah, really solid mon, really fast, you know, has, you know, offensive presence and stuff like that. I don't think it can be taken advantage of too much. It gives me some bolt switch out into things like uh, Latios and Manaphy that can hit really hard and actually provides, you know, a means of bringing in uh, some of my other mons that you'll see on the squad without taking, you know, that prior damage. You know, just bring them in off a of bolt switch and then force something out or... Um, you'll see in a second. I do have uh, I do have a mon that can pursue trap. So you know, fat psychic types that want to switch in on Cabalion, and as I bolt switch out, I can bring in my dark type and pursue trap them, and then uh, you know, clear the way for Cabalion and things like that. Really cool mon overall. I'm really excited to use it once again. I have used it before, but really excited to use it again. I felt it works really well with the team that I've drafted. That being said, we can move on to our fifth pick, and we'll be halfway done after this one. So with our fifth pick, we've got Mimikyu, and this monster gets an ability called Disguise. So basically it takes 0% zero, <laughs> zero from neutral damage um, from any of its first hits. You know, its first hit, take, you know, it, it basically has a sub up without losing any health. <laughs> Very cool mon. It's a ghost type and a fairy type, so it's a nice spin blocker, as well as, you know, being a fairy type, which is nice and immune to dragon, immune to fight, and immune to normal. Three immunities in one. It gets a nice swords dance and bulk up. It gets destiny bond, drain punch. Um, I think it gets sucker punch. I know it gets shadow sneak. It gets shadow claw. Uh, play rough. Lots of you know physically offensive coverage. And then it gets things like taunt, thunder wave, trick room, trick, will o wisp. Uh, some weird things like wood hammer and egg scissor, which really doesn't make sense considering. Well, I, I guess it could use its leg. I mean its tail as a hammer. Or a scissor, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a really cool mon. It's uh, it's thrived. Uh, really, you know, solid mon like Swords Dance variants and stuff like that, or uh, Z move variants on the ladder and stuff. But obviously, I'm not gonna have Z access to this thing uh, in this league. But you know, still a very nice Swords Dance variant can be a nice life orb. Um, Nice life orb breaker could be like a spooky plate breaker, pixie plate breaker, anything like that with swords dance, you know, shadow sneak. It does uh, have base 50 special attack, so I'm not going to be using that. Base 96 speed, so not too bad, but not, you know, I guess it does outspeed Kieran Black and Arcanine and Mons like that, but otherwise not too fast. Base 90 uh, attack, so not extremely high, but swords dance, like I mentioned, does boost that. Bulk up can boost that. And then, uh, not the bulkiest with base 55 HP and 80 defense, but base 105 special defense isn't too bad at all. And like I mentioned, it does have the disguise ability, so it's going to be surviving any one hit thanks to that. Basically blocking any one hit and can uh, it can use psych up and uh, and uh, work up some moves like that to kind of maybe catch something else off guard or just boost up without that. I don't think work up would ever be a set over something like bulk up or swords dance i don't think work up would ever be viable so yeah that's gonna be mimic you basically <laughs> never used it in draft league format but i have uh, faced it quite a few times and it's it's a spooky uh, no pun intended it's spooky to prep for so i i hope it's uh i hope it's you know just as spooky to use so yeah hopefully we can uh, look forward to some knockouts and some uh, some fairy and ghost shenanigans from this monster and hopefully I was going to make a bad pun on the word mimic, but we'll save that for another time. We'll move on to number six, and we'll be right back. All right, so with our sixth pick, we picked up Dawn Fan. This thing gives us a rapid spin support, which we so, uh, so, uh, so badly needed. It gives us a nice ground type, too, so that we can avoid bolt switch spam and stuff like that. It gives us another stealth rocker, as well as a mon that can uh, spam Earthquake itself. It gets Endeavor, it gets, you know, Earth Power, not really going to be using that, but it gets Endeavor, Earthquake, Fire Fang, Gunk Shot, Gyre Ball, Head Smash, so all those nice moves to kind of, you know, bop some things that might be immune or resistant to some of the moves it gets. It gets Ice Shard, nice priority with Knock Off, Play Rough, Poison Jab, nice, nice, nice coverage there with Seed Bomb, Stone Edge, Super Power, 
I can go on and on with this thing's coverage, but it's really, really slow, so it can't make use of all that coverage, but it's really, really bulky at the same time. It gets iron tail and natural gift, magnitude, and stuff like that, but mainly, like I mentioned, it's a stealth rocker, mainly going to be setting up stealth rocks, rad spinning stealth rocks away, or spikes away, and things like that, click an earthquake and knock off, things like that. And then if there's something that's a flying type or something, I might have some sort of coverage for it. But mostly going to be a rapid spinner. And could potentially bring a rock polish set with a, with my sturdy ability or something like that. And a salic berry or a lychee berry or something. something some kind of shenanigans. And, or, you know, really get off on Don fans. <laughs> as funny as that sounds. But yeah, this, this is a monster. I've used it quite a bit in the past. It's a really, really reliable rapid spinner. I've always found myself drafting it whenever I feel like I need it. A rabbit spinner if I need something immediately you know uh, Don fan being a ground type takes half from stealth rock so only that six percent every turn and then uh, basically gets that back from leftovers can rabbit spin the rocks away the spikes away whatever it may be and then uh, and, and do that continuously throughout the match so that's really dope and my my seventh pick really appreciates that we're gonna go ahead and hop into him and uh, talk about him a little bit we got our boy Talonflame here at number seven. Like I mentioned, uh, really appreciates rocks being gone thanks to Donphan um, and Latios to an extent. We can use that thing with Defog. This is going to be our second Z-Move user. Speaking of Latios, going to be our second Z-Move user and uh, cost me 130 points. So with Latios 170 and Talonflame at 130, that is my full 300 points for Z-Moves. So this will be my second and final Z-Move user. But yeah, we've got talent flame here. Nice gale wings, nice flame body, nice flare blitz, <laughs> nice uh, brave bird, nice kamikaze suicide smoke on bird, <laughs> things like that. So we got some actually some really cool things that talent flame can do. So we got bulk up, agility, acrobatics, brave bird, defog, um, flame charge, flare blitz. Now I'm, I'm not gonna name all the things it can do because some of the things just aren't viable. Um, home claws, quick attack. Um, tailwind, Taunt, Will-O-Wisp, U-Turn, Toxic Roost style, things like that. Um, can catch people off guard with the Natural Gift or the Me First, the Workup, so on and so forth. And this is another mod similar to, um, similar to Mimic U, where Workup isn't as viable since Bulk Up, you know, you're never going to be using your special attack on this mod, or I, if you do, it'd be, you know, a weird gimmicky set. Same, same with mimic you but uh but workup isn't as viable because while you're getting you know your special attack and your attack boosted you're not getting any of your defense boosted and since bulk up boost your attack you know the attacks that you're going to be using your physical attack and your defense it's so much more viable and same thing with swords dance uh you're not going to be using your special attack so why raise your special attack by one and your attack by one when you can just raise your physical attack by two it wouldn't make sense any other way. So this thing's got some really nice, uh, uh, really nice speed here at base 126, outpacing you know the likes of up to you know things like Greninja, um, um, Weavile. It outspeeds Weavile and Tornado Starion, things like that. Um, it has base 78 HP, base 81 attack. So after Swords Dance, I'm actually pretty strong. Same with Mimikyu. You know that base 80, base 80 to base. 100 you know really needs a swords dance to really give that oomph <laughs> into its attack stat stuff and really apply the pressure that way but yeah Talonflame the smoke on bird really excited to use this monster I haven't used it since it's been nerfed but I've seen some of my buddies use it especially you know Aki VGC he's a big fan of Talonflame especially with Z moves and I'm really hyped to you know give him a try and see what I can do with this bad boy but yeah it's gonna be our seventh pick and we can move on to number eight and we'll be right back we have Licky Licky, and now literally, I've been I've been using this thing in the PBF. I've been using it in the um, what else was it? The CPC, the PBF, CPC, um, and the World Showdown series. So I know you guys have been seeing me upload, you know what Licky Licky does and stuff like this. It's a normal type. It gets Oblivious and Cloud Nine, and it's a really really solid mod. Leftovers, Wish Pass. It gets. Excuse me, it gets really, really solid coverage from fire, dragon, normal, uh, dark, <laughs> water. Okay, let's just go over it for a second. It gets aqua tail, brick break, double edge, dragon tail, earthquake, explosion, facade, fire punch, fire blast, flamethrower, focus blast, focus punch, gyro ball, 
Hammer, arm, heel bell, ice beam, ice punch, knockoff, power up punch, power whip, return, rock slide, seismic toss, shadow ball, surf, thunder punch, thunderbolt, zen headbutt. And that's before I even touched the usually useless moves. <laughs> like uh, like bubble beam and then you know it's get, it gets some other weird stuff too. But it does get things like iron tail and icy wind, incinerate, lick, me first, mega punch, stuff like that. So yeah, this thing's coverage is insane. It gets sunny day, it gets you know rain dance, it gets whirlpool. So lots of different things that you know this thing can do. But it's mainly a really really solid wish passer. And my team, such as you know Latios, Manaphy, um, Venusaur, Don fan, they're all really really going to appreciate you know catching a wish from this thing, uh, Licky Licky, with base 110 HP, base 95 defenses, so really solid there, and it's. You know, it's attack stats can't be really taken advantage of. It's it's a really solid mine in my opinion. I think I've been using it really, really well in the PBF. It hasn't let me down yet. And you know, I needed some kind of wish support and this mine was sitting there, hadn't been drafted and you know, I was building this team after all the other teams got built. So I felt like this was a nice addition, you know, picking up the crumbs there. Somebody, I don't know who, you know, all those coaches left this bad boy sitting in the back and uh, I'm gonna pick you up. Nah, I ain't gonna lick you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lick you, lick you, lick you. I, I thought about that for a minute. Y'all, y'all saw me think, think about that for a minute. My, my tongue came out of my mouth. I felt it. I felt it. But yeah, that's gonna be it for licky licky. You know, not much, not too much to say about it. And we'll hop on to our next pick. So our ninth pick, like I mentioned, we was gonna have a dark type that can come in off Cabalion's Volt Switches and get some nice, uh, you know, damage off with the Pursuit or the Knockoff or whatever it may be. Same thing for like. Uh, you know, like Mega Venusaur and Latios, not, not really going to be able to break some fat psychic types. Um, so we do have things like Mimikyu and Sneasel that we can bolt switch into, we can U-turn into, we can just hard switch into, and really take care of our problem with, you know, fat psychic types. And Sneasel does that really good, being able to pursuit trap them, so that even if they try to switch out, we can get, you know, at least some damage on them and you know pressure on from that standpoint and another mon with some pretty solid speed at base 115 base 95 attacks are really just going to be a life orb or a choice band or a, a dread plate or an icicle plate or something like that kind of set excuse me or a muscle band like a swords dance muscle band set with like knockoff icicle crash ice shard pursuit um aerial ace it gets some cool takes with fake out and stuff like that as well poison jab and you know um, things like that. It also gets Ice Punch if I don't want to risk, you know, the Ice Wheel Crash. I mean, it gets Taunt. You know, most Dark Types do get Taunt, and this is a pretty cool uh, way to stop some, you know, bulkier mods from being able to just constantly roost up on me or recover up on me and things like that. And it can prevent from, you know, some other fat mods from setting up, you know, Stealth Rocks and Leech Seed and stuff like that versus me. But, that being said, this thing gets some pretty cool coverage, like I was mentioning. It gets Low Kick and Throat Chop and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, Sneasel's, it's been pretty reliable for me in the past. I've used it a couple times. I think maybe three, three times the maximum, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's always been very, very solid for me. Um, and, and I'm really excited to use it again. Like I mentioned, it gives me a dark type, or a ghost type immunity. Um, another mine that doesn't really mind knockoff. You know, as, as much as it, you know, as frail as I am, I don't mind knockoff as much. Um, but, yeah, that, I guess that's just the general concept of the team of not, you know, mind to knock off that much. You know, Mega Venus or Z Move Lottie, Cabalion, um, Z Move Talon Flame, stuff like that with Roost and stuff like that. So, knockoff spam isn't that great versus me, I don't think, anyway. And I feel like some of my team might be able to actually take advantage of teams that might want to use knockoff spam versus me. Anyways, that being said, that's going to be our ninth pick, and we're going to move on to our tenth and final pick. All right, so here we are with our 10th pick, and we picked up Electros, another ground immunity and an electric type that gives us our own Volt Switch spam. Um, this mod can set up coils, and it gets a really nice coverage with Giga Drain, Flamethrower, Knockoff, Super Fang, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Wild Charge, uh, Coil, like I mentioned, it gets Return, Frustration, um, Outrage, Power Up Punch, it gets Light Screen and Reflect, I believe, so really cool coverage there with Drain Punch, U-Turn and Volt Switch, Thunder Wave and Toxic, Super Power. Um, like I mentioned, Coil, Charge Beam, all kinds of different things this thing can do. And it's a very solid mod overall, in my opinion. And I'm really excited to give it a try. Once again, I've used it, you know, maybe three or four times in the past. You know, I have a long history of uh, Draft League, you know, 
in terms of my career, I've played in like 50 leagues. I played, you know, the entirety of it, all of them, almost anyway. And then, uh, you know, I've had, you know, quite a bit of playoff runs and stuff like that. So, very experienced player. So, I've used at least, you know, I've used at least 90% of the mons at least once. So, I've used Electros before as well. And it's a really solid mon. And I'm excited to use it once again. I actually drafted it in the World Showdown Series last season. And I think I drafted it in the PBF Season 4. So, I've definitely used it before and excited to use it again. And, you know, like I mentioned, another mon giving me Bolt Switch Spam into things like, uh, you know, Manaphy, Mimikyu, um, Latio, Z Latios, Z Talonflame, things like that can really catch me uh, some momentum and be able to maybe eliminate some threats, open the holes up for some other, you know, Pokemon on my team. But yeah, that's going to be it for our 10th pick, and we'll be right back. All right, so yeah, that's going to be our team. Uh, really excited for the Ninamori Nation Draft League Season 2 Majors. Um, as you see, our squad there to the right, really excited to use them. I think they look fantastic together and uh, really excited. As you can see, our logo is a uh, Alolan Raichu. I think that's Alolan Raichu. It might be just regular Raichu, but it has the sunglasses on there, definitely surfing. So it looks like they're surfing in Alola, so it definitely could be Alolan Raichu. It could be a regular Raichu. I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I haven't necessarily sat down and looked at the difference though, so that kind of, uh, hopefully that makes up for that. But yeah, definitely looking forward to the season. Um, shout out to A1 Gallade for the, uh, the shameless plug let me know about it shout out to rosalina bgc for hosting the league and allowing me to be a part of it really uh, really glad to be a part of it with you guys and hopefully you know can make some new friends but yeah that's gonna be it let me know what you think about the nina mori nation draft league draft for the blackmont rye cougars here in season two majors and hopefully uh, you guys can follow me along on my adventure throughout the league and hopefully we can cop some W's and have some, you know, fun battles and stuff like that. That's what it's all about. It's fun, entertainment for you guys and stuff like that. And for us, but mostly for you guys, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.